absolutely beautiful Pisces friends and happy, happy birthday. Welcome to your horoscope for February of 2022. I just had to say happy birthday right away because you guys are typically the, the last sign uploaded, recorded, all of that good stuff. So I just wanted to make sure to acknowledge you at your special time that I just do things in order because I'm a Virgo rising, but I don't think any less of you. I love you happy birthday your solar season is coming around and i hope it is everything that you could want it to be at this time now i do want to tell you also pisces this month we've got good energies to work with the sun's going to roll into your sign venus and mars traveling together in capricorn lots of good stuff but this is not the month that we're back to full swing full speed just yet we do have this mercury retrograde that that's coming direct but it's holding us up in the middle to finish up making some decisions and getting clarity and as we head into march that's when we can see so much more of the forward motion so i want to put that out there right away as you're coming around into birthday time if you're feeling like stormy i'm not exactly in the full flow or there's a lot i feel like i don't have answers to you're on time you have caught the correct bus <laughs> <laughs> we will all pick up speed as we get to March, okay? Now, also, Pisces, we have got the Kickstarter going where we bring crowdfunded astrology education, technique and skills, not just interpretation, to the academy that is available right here on YouTube. We gathered master teachers from around the world, and we created an academy together. And we'd like to be able to do that again, so hopefully we can get it funded. And you can click in the description box down below to donate to the Kickstarter. There are gifts for your donation and they are some good ones because you've got what 35 teachers giving you different gifts for your donation that's pretty damn good so click, click into the description box down below and support the kickstarter all right all right pisces so let's see what is rolling in for february just in time for birthday time right that's very exciting so right at the beginning of the month we've got a new moon happening at 12 degrees of Aquarius lighting up your 12th house space and of course before birthday time we get this new moon that is about planting seeds of intention in the house of rest the house of assimilation the house of transition of culmination right of spiritual fitness the house of our own attitudes, actions, behaviors that will cause our own undoing. So right here, as you've got this new moon, you've got an opportunity to plant your seeds of intention before your energetic year begins to say, where do I need to rest? Where do I need help? Where do I need to be aligned, Aquarius, with the right groupings of people to support my spirit, to support me changing actions, attitudes, and behaviors that are not serving me? Where do I need to um, be aligned in a way where I can pay attention to which people, which spaces, which social media things, which energetic places of content deserve my attention at this time whatever it is this new moon i think points you to the honesty of what makes your spirit free and what do you need to innovate to allow that to breathe in the way that it needs to and bring some other things to culmination because they simply don't now this moon is in alignment with saturn squares uranus which are both the ruling planets of this moon so whatever it is you may not feel like oh it was right before birthday time stormy and i was just laying back the breeze was kissing my eyelashes and it was easy no saturn and uranus are involved in order to innovate in order to change you are going to have to put your back into a little bit okay there's gonna have to be some push and determination but whatever you build whatever you're willing to see and you're willing to innovate Saturn will give the gift of grounding to that that will support you long term okay as we get to the third we see Mercury coming out of retrograde at 24 degrees of Capricorn this lights up your 11th house space so where from December 29th way back over there <laughs> that was like six weeks ago. Okay, but at December 29th of 2021, what did you see? 
what started to come to your attention around your your friends your social groupings um, even things that have to do with your long-range goals and aspirations for yourself and for some of you I do think that it's gonna something points me to travel so I don't know if there was something that you were thinking about traveling or you wanted to travel whatever what was on your table December 29th because now as mercury is out of retrograde it's hovering back at that degree so you have a golden nugget what were you working on because that's what you're going to see now now the other part to remember is that yes mercury is direct so sign your contracts make your decisions book the airline tickets whatever it is that you need to do but we're not fully up to speed until we get to the 24th okay but mercury is going to start to pick up some speed as we get to the 14th and it moves back into the energy of aquarius which is just in your 12th house space okay now go back to january 2nd to January 14th. This is when Mercury initially ingressed or came into Aquarius. What was on your table? What were you thinking about? What were you talking about? Was there like a surprising piece of content or conversation that you had and it innovated this particular area of your life or it brought something to a close in your life that you're like, oh, I'm kind of surprised this is ending or this is changing or let me assimilate this. What was happening at that time? Because now as Mercury is back and you're thinking outside of the box, it could be more surprise information for you, but it's in the realm of what was happening then, okay? On the 16th, we're going to have a full moon at 27 degrees of Leo, and this is going to light up your sixth house space. The full moon says that something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. We need to create a shift or a change here. Now, in this sixth house, this is health, wellness, daily routines, work projects, co-workers, small animals fall in here as well. Maybe you're being of service or you're a caretaker in some way. In the energy of Leo, it's saying, hey, you need to speak up. We need to communicate about what's going on in this area because if we don't speak up and get honest about some things that we're seeing or some things that we need to change, bottling those emotions is going to create a spiritual constipation as well as an emotional constipation. So what do you feel like and what happens for you? Let me know at the end of the month. What rises up out of this next four weeks from this full moon that have been things you've been needing to share and express your voice about so that they can make some pretty pretty big changes in your health and your wellness and your work sectors on the 17th we're going to have jupiter who's over in your sign and one of your ruling planets come into a sextile with uranus who's over in taurus now as these two sextile together it's the first house meets the third house and a sextile creates a wonderful pocket of opportunity the opportunity is here but then you intelligently take action to go to that opportunity, okay? So this is a place of excitement. This is innovation. This is Pisces. You decide, I am going to invest in this travel plan. <clears throat> I'm going to invest in this conversation. I'm going to invest in this program of study. I'm going to invest in something. You are expanded by Jupiter, Neptune's off to also your ruling planet and comfortably in your sign. So you have this expansion in this era of travel and wisdom and experience that you wanna have. And that meets Uranus, who's over here in Taurus, changing the third house landscape. You don't have to live here. You don't have to study here. We can innovate. We can do this in a different way. We can teach in a different way. So let me know what's the excitement or kind of the curveball energy that this particular sextile brings in for you as the month goes on. Now on the 18th official happy birthday, the sun moves into the energy of Pisces. You begin your solar year all the way until March 20th. So the sun brings light, heat, life, and motiv motivation. So my beautiful Pisces friends, as you're rolling into your birthday time, what are you motivated to get yourself into, out of, surrounded with? Like what is calling to you as you're at the beginning of your year? I want to know 
all about it. Let me know, okay? Now, just a reminder, as we close out the month on the 24th, we've got Mercury leaving the post-retrograde shadow time at 10 degrees of Aquarius. So this means that from here going forward, now Mercury is officially done with this retrograde, and we can start to see new situations pour in, new decisions. We can make um, decisions with confidence and with clarity that we're actually moving forward in a different direction. Happy birthday, my beautiful fishy friends. I love you guys a ton. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Kick into the Kickstarter if you can, and I look forward to seeing you next month. Bye, my friends.